Hello everyone, I am Tech Support and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm making a special video because I want to announce some important stuff and tell you some of my plan for my channel and my games. So my first announcement is that I will make a Q&A video in just a few weeks. So in this video, you can ask me questions about myself my games or my channel in the comment section below now moving on i'll talk about my future changes for my channel so from now on i will mostly post videos about my main game heart of the sun and i'll only post videos about other topics occasionally also i've also changed my channel name to tech support to be more clickbait i mean to be more suitable to my channel Okay, so currently this video is not long enough to put ads. I mean to satisfy you after a long time I don't post anything on my channel. I'll be showing you some of my work for my game recently. Okay, so since the start of my channel, I've not talked about my game so often. So I'll be presenting to you the basic information. Heart of the Sun is a Metroidvania game where you control a white squirrel exploring the island of Era. Your mission is to collect the memory vessels of the four elements to save the whole island from perishment. Sounding familiar right? Yes, because this is the exact same game that I get inspiration from. But unlike Ori, my game contains a lot of challenging puzzles that require more thinking and creativity instead of skills. Take for example, this is a platform that moves relative to you in different direction and speed. So there are some counterintuitive situations where you have to go opposite to where you need to get to. This can create interesting gameplay and mechanics. This is not the only original thing in my game. There are a lot of them including this stupid ability that took me 10 hours to code. Anyway, when I first create my game, its map looks like this. But now it looks like this. Basically, I've just been changing the area's name and moving some areas. You know, most of the time, these changes are just changes in design. But sometimes, the changes are quite big brain. Take for example, the clone forest. I've been sick of drawing and animating so many trees, so from now, all trees of the area looks identical. Hence its name, clone forest. Another of my optimization strategy is trees in some areas are completely petrified, meaning I don't have to do any animation for them. They'll just stand still or burn. Finally, I've changed the ability system in my game to be much less complex and more story based. Well, that's enough of paperwork for this video. Now I'll move on to some of my computer works for my game. So what I've been developing the most during this time is animation. Even though I haven't made a lot of progress recently on this, it is the first time ever that I've ever successfully export an animation into Unity from Blender. Of course, there are still some small bugs, but these bugs are relatively hard to fix, so I'll leave that for later. Recently, I've also completed the rigging process for my second character, Mara. This may seem insignificant, but remember, even rigging is quite a difficult process, and they are much more complex with 2D characters, especially rigging the head turn. So that's it for this video. I know it's quite short, but I've been so busy lately, mainly because I was taking the entrance exam to grade 10. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching it and see you next time.